haven't yet met uh, the housing minister Craig Heatley, but I am looking forward to meeting. I am looking, looking forward to meeting the Labour leader of the Labour Party, Ian Shearer, <laughs> because at least he might get listened to by his front bench when he gives a speech. Well, it's absolutely clear that even if Charles Chevelle was here yesterday, he should have been at the barbecue with the Davids who weren't here, because he didn't start listening until the fourth minute of the speech, which no doubt half of that caucus is sitting there thinking is almost the second or third last general debate speech that the current leader of the Labour Party will give. So yesterday they were away plotting. What else would David Parker, David Cunliffe and Grant Robertson be doing if they weren't in the House on a Tuesday? Well, oh, well, well Grant, Grant Robertson was probably on Skype, I'll give you that, from New York or wherever he was. I tell you what they were talking about, the same things as New Zealand's union leadership is talking about in the Koru Lounge, and that is, who's it going to be to follow on from David Shearer? Now look, the Labor Party should, they should do what they did with Helen Clark. Helen Clark was polling very poorly, making no impact on politics, and they stuck with her. In fact, they stuck with her for two and a half years until the 1996 election campaign when she finally came through to show her political capacities in that campaign. She still lost the election only polling 28 per cent, but they kept backing her. That's when the Labor Party used to understand middle New Zealand because they knew that in the long run they had a leader who could take them to victory. This Labour Party doesn't understand Middle New Zealand and that is why they are looking to jump ship the rats leaving the ship because David Shearer doesn't look like he's beaten the government this year. In just a matter of a few months since he's been leader, they're ready to slit his throat, stab him in the back, throw him to the wolves. But that's the easy bit. The hard bit is deciding who would replace him. And my advice is that that fight will be so divisive that they should stick with David Shearer like they did with Helen Clark. Because he has not all of the same qualities, but some of the same qualities. And I would say that alone on the front bench of the Labour Party, he has an instinct for middle New Zealand. Because there's other people there who don't, like the Honourable David Cunliffe, who has said publicly, and I think this is honest, quote in the listener, I think I am sincere. I think I am sincere. Well, ask, any, ask anybody who's listened to this man. He's not. He's perfected the art, as Mike Moore said, when you can fake sincerity, you've really got them. But at least he recognises his inner troubles. And this is not an inner struggle that David Shearer has. When, when David Cunliffe says he has to keep reminding himself, it's not about me. Every day. Every day I look in the mirror and I tell myself, it's not about me. Well, the leadership, the leadership of one of what used to be one of New Zealand's fine political parties cannot be about an ego that big. And, that, and I do know, I've been there, I know what it feels like. I know what David Shearer feels like today when he can hear them baying for his blood, knowing he's going to be cut down. It's just a matter of when, because this is the Labour Party at its best. The discipline they had under Helen Clark is gone. And now it's egos. Now it's each man for himself. Now they spend a lot more time talking about themselves than they do. They, sp 
The Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Of course... The